you know, this is, uh, first of all, I mean, I, Marco, Senator Rubio has definitely been an ally and has continually pushed for the President's emergency supplemental appropriations request, and I give him credit for that and I've been glad to work with him on it. But it's irresponsible to put limitations on how we combat a virus that can result in birth defects, life-threatening birth defects for the babies born to pregnant women who contract the Zika virus. And those decisions should be left between a woman and her doctor, and government should not be interfering with those decisions. And can you elaborate on what you said about Rick Scott and the funding that he cut and the research that he cut? Um, so specifically when that was in 2011. In 2011, Rick Scott, in his budget, cut about nearly a million dollars from mosquito control, which also cut the funding for what was known as the Mosquito Lab in Panama City. And that was a lab in which there was a lot of, uh, th there was key mosquito research done. And, you know, so at the same time that he's out there talking about how President Obama and the federal government isn't doing enough and hasn't even taken a position in support of the president's full funding request, you know, he conveniently leaves out that he actually cut mosquito control and cut the research funding and closed the lab for, for mosquitoes. So, you, you, I mean, you know, he, uh, he bears some responsibility uh, in, in this uh, problem that we're facing now since we are not as fully prepared as we could be if, if those cuts had not come down. Was Can you that detail a preparation some... issue or was that a reworking well, when you close down a research lab that has, uh, you know, renowned uh, accomplishments in a state like Florida, um, it certainly has to have uh, important effects. I mean, why would you do that? I mean, that makes no sense. And now, particularly when you never know when you're going to need it, um, making sure that you have funding for that ongoing research, especially so that we can aid in preparing uh, the research that necessary for a vaccine so that we can combat a crisis like this with a mosquito that uh, not only carries the Zika virus, but you know uh, other viruses as well. In a state like Florida, we want to make sure we can do everything we can to protect our residents. I guess the question was, was that work not being done anywhere else, for instance, by the CDC, that kind of mosquito research? What I know is that it, the, the state research lab was doing important work. Uh, it made no sense to shut it down at the time. The, the, uh, experts involved uh, were really distressed that, that, that they would cut the funding for mosquito control and, and close that lab down. And I think logic would tell you that in a state like Florida, where we're ground zero, uh, both because of being the gateway to Latin America uh, and because we have, obviously, a significant mosquito issue, um, closing down the, a research lab that, that was funded by the state for years makes no sense and potentially puts us, puts us at greater risk. Well, Javier, you know I serve on the Appropriations yeah. Committee, and for months, with every single appropriations bill that we considered, I and other Democratic members offered an amendment mm -hmm. on each bill to appropriate the $1.9 billion in emergency funding that the President requested, that the Centers for Disease Control and public health experts insist that we need in order to make sure we can fund the mosquito and vector control, do the research necessary, and make sure we can prepare, do research and prepare a vaccine. Uh, Republicans defeated that on party lines every single time we introduced that amendment. They refused to take up the President's full supplemental appropriations request. And ultimately, in the House, the Republicans only were willing to transfer funds from fighting the Ebola crisis, which public health officials said we still needed to provide those resources to keep that at bay, and move it over to combat Zika, robbing Peter to pay Paul. In the conference committee, that resulted from the Senate passing one version of the bill and the House passing another, I sat on the conference committee and ultimately we agreed on the $1.1 billion, a little bit less, still not enough, the President's full funding request was necessary, but then the Republicans added all of these unrelated political riders like defunding Planned Parenthood that had nothing to do with the, what we need to do at the, at the end of the day and that's combat Zika.